This is a video tutorial on how to use Logger Pro 3.16 to manually enter data and create graphs. So the first thing I do is going to be initiate the software. So on a Mac, to be able to do that, you go to the launch pad, find your icon for Logger Pro, and click that. You'll arrive at a screen that looks like this. And then you're going to need to type in your data. So I'm going to come over here to the data set and I'm going to type in my data points. The first column will be what goes on the X or the horizontal axis. The second column is what goes on the vertical axis. Between each number I type in, I'm just going to hit tab. Now I have my data in. You notice right down here, I've got a bunch of points that have appeared on my graph. They don't fill too much of the grid. So I'm gonna come up to the top to this A button, which is an auto scale button, and I'm gonna click that. And now that distributes my points across the entire grid. Now I have the basic graph here, but I need to properly format that. I need to put titles on each of the axes. And then I also need to put an overall title. To put titles on each axis, there's two ways. I can double click on the X on the top of my uh, data set, or I can click on the X here and go to more and bring up options that will allow me to type it in. So I'm going to double click on my X and this brings me up options. I can type in a name. The data I have here on the horizontal axis is distance that a spring is stretched. So I gave it a name, short name, I'm just gonna call this distance. And then my units that I have are meters. Click done. Notice that it appears both on that column on the data and it appears down here on the axes. I'm gonna do that also for the Y. Double click. And this data is potential energy. Short name, I'm just gonna call that PE and my units are joules. And now I have the titles there. I need one more title up here on the top. I can enter that by clicking anywhere in this white region. So if I double click there, brings me up this grid here, but I don't want to change the axis options. I want to change the graph. So I click over to graph and now I can enter a title. The title of any graph is going to state whatever is on the vertical axis first. Potential energy versus whatever the quantity is on the horizontal axis. Distance stretched. Click OK, and then that title appears right up there. The remaining thing you need to do then is to add a regression or a trend line to your data points. There are two different ways I can do that. I have this button right here, which is a linear fit if it looks like a line. And then I have a curve fit if it looks like some other mathematical relationship. Those options can also be found under Analyze, under Linear Fit, and Curve Fit. So if I come looking at my data point and recognizing potential energy and distance, it looks like we have a curve. And so I'm going to click on my curve fit. I have various different options. It is suggesting a quadratic or a second power but I have all kinds of different options here. So if I try this quadratic fit, I have a correlation here of one. That's a perfect correlation to the data points. You're aiming to get this value, typically it's a decimal, as high or as close to one as you can, recognizing that you're not just finding whatever relationship gives you the highest correlation, but you're trying to model the physical real world relationship between potential energy and distance stretched. I'm happy with the curve that I have there, so I'm gonna click OK. Now I have my graph. I have the equation here spelled out. Sometimes this will appear over the line, so you can click and drag and move that to wherever you need it to be if it's in the way and covering up the line. Now the remaining thing I need to do is to copy this over into my lab report. So I'm gonna copy, first of all, the graph. So I, on my keyboard, I'm gonna hit Command, holding it down Shift and four to do a screen capture. I'm gonna use the crosshairs to click and hold and drag. 
and highlight the entire body of the graph. Now I've got an image there. I'm going to open up my file and I'm going to grab this image and just drop it right where I want it. And there is my graph and then I can click it and I can resize it in my Google Doc or move it around or whatever I need to do. Now I also need my data in here. So I'm going to go back to my Logger Pro file and I'm going to do the same thing over on my data set. So Command Shift 4, click, hold, drag, highlight my data, release, open up my Google Doc, and then drag this image over and drop it where I need my data. That's a little large. I'm going to reduce it in size. And now I have my data and my graph in my lab report where I need those to be. Ponder Physics.